Hello everyone and welcome to the video presentation of our paper Anomaly Detection for In-Vehicle Communication Using Transformers. The trends in modern vehicles are leaning towards an increasing integration of electronic parts and advanced sensor system. These cutting-edge technologies allow vehicles to communicate not only with another vehicles, but also with various smart infrastructure components, such as traffic lights for enhancing traffic, traffic efficiency. However, as vehicles become more connected and technologically advanced, they also become susceptible to new security risks. Wireless communication creates potential entry points for hackers to exploit. Gaining access to the vehicle's internal communication bus could allow attackers to remotely control critical functions of the vehicle, putting the safety of traffic participants at risk. Our work focuses on developing a deep learning based intrusion detection system for detecting abnormal behaviors in the control area network protocol, protocol, which is widely used in vehicle communication. It can handle a large stream of messages, but it lacks mechanisms for authentication and encryption. This is the structure of a CAN frame and arbitrational field with ID, control field and data field will be used in the data set for anomaly detection. For detecting anomalies, we'll use a transformer. No, not, not this one, uh, a deep neural network. You might wonder, is it the same transformer used in large language models and chatbots? And the answer is yes. And we will teach it to speak the language of the electronic control units inside the vehicles. First step in teaching CAN language is to prepare the inputs. Each ID and the byte of a payload is encoded as a separate instance in the vocabulary, similar to word-level encoding in NLP. Each token has a corresponding vector representation in the embedding table. Let's have a closer look to the architecture. We already discussed the token embedding and we are adding the positional embedding. We have the multi-hat attention mechanism where the magic happens because it has exceptional capacity for parallelization, which allows for more efficient training and inference, and it provides enhanced performance when it comes to capturing long-term dependencies. We have feed forward and normalization layers, and in the end, we have a linear layer. For predicting anomalies, we have an input sequence, and our task is to get the probabilities for all potential tokens that could follow. If a true token doesn't appear in the top K predictions, we increment the anomaly score by one. When the anomaly score surpasses a predefined threshold, we consider the sequence as anomalous. And it turns out that this method is efficient in detecting anomalies with a high accuracy. Exploring the tokens embedding space, we can notice that the model learned the language of the CAN communication and that the tokens that are more likely to appear together are mapped to the same region in the embedding space. In the end, we would like to thank the Industrial Electronic Society for this opportunity and for CYPA.